Now from a thing of beauty to this. There are some traditional dishes that don't have well the best reputation in the world. Take the humble faggot. They were once a staple food in working class industrial areas of Britain, like South Wales and the English Midlands. Faggots were cheap to make using offcuts of meat, particularly pork and offal, like pig's heart, liver and even sometimes pig brain. Breadcrumbs and herbs were added and the whole lot was wrapped in coal fat, which is basically stomach lining. They became particularly popular during rationing in the war years, but perhaps because of its association with hard times and somewhat indiscriminate use of meaty ingredients, they developed a certain stigma. They were so grim, even the manufacturer's own marketing men couldn't redeem them. Birds I even suggest that people who don't like faggots could enjoy these. They live in hope. But one man from Raglan in South Wales is determined to change all of that. Neil James's family have been butchers since 1959 and he's on a one-man mission to transform the faggot's reputation. The faggot years gone by was uh, known as the butcher's scraps, you know, and it's uh, such a waste of a good product. How are you keeping? Tip top, thanks. Can I have a half dozen faggots, please? It's full of flavour and it's uh, lovely spices to it. People say, oh, well, faggots, I haven't done them for years. Once they try them, they realise that, you know, oh, they were very nice. So we go back, so instead of bringing the fish fingers out of the freezer, they might bring some faggots out. According to Neil, a faggot has to have liver in it, else it's just a meatball. But there are regional variations. He doesn't just make any old faggots. Oh, oh no, his are Welsh faggots. And rather than leftover scraps and offal, his family recipe only uses prime cuts of meat and liver. We're Welsh, we're famous for our lamb, and there's lamb in this faggot, which adds a different bit of flavour to it. So it is, you know, it is it's a fine balance to get the flavours right in, in the faggot, and uh, it's one of those very traditional things that uh, I think if you're a proper butcher, you should always make. Now you might be thinking, faggots deserve every bit of bad press they get. But Neil is a man dedicated to his calling. Gone are the days of making them from random bits of gizzard. If he's going to shift some pretty entrenched public opinion, only the very best rare breed pork will do. For him, Maureen and John Teague's farm in Raglan is the place with the best pigs around. Come on, Daddy. Come on. Afternoon, Maureen. Well, good afternoon, Mr. James, and how are you today? Some, well, I'm all right, I think. You some sure? nice happy pigs there? Yes, always happy, yeah. Yes, exactly. Some nice meat. They're the saddlebacks, are they? Yes, saddlebacks. There's a few large white cross. Yeah. Lovely. Nice yes. meat. Yes. Well, Something for next weekend. You will have one or two down your oh, shop next week. Oh, you spoil me. You do right. Oh, I there, do yeah. try, Neil. I do try. He believes a happier pig, kept in a good environment, produces better meat. Buying from farms very local, like Maureen's, which a mile away, and other people in the area of uh, of Raglan. It's wonderful, you know. We know the farmers. We know the traceability of the stock, the low food miles, and the less stress on animals. Top notch. Fair play to it. You can't fault it either way. And it's not just the quality of the meat, he uses the best cuts too. The shoulders of pork we put in, off these pigs we put into our faggots, is keeping the, the meat from Monmouthshire, the faggots are made in Monmouthshire. More importantly, it's Welsh. Don't just take Neil's word for it though, his customers are as convinced as he is. Well, my dad always had them with, with a bit of vinegar and bread and butter, so in the summer like this is lovely, but in the winter they're lovely with gravy and potatoes. So yeah, there's so, so much you can do with them, they're great. You can put a little bit of bacon on the top as well. I think they've been treated as a cheap food, whereas they shouldn't. I put them on a par, whether you, you eat them hot or cold, um, with any of the French pâté delicacies. Neil is passionate about his supercharged recipe and making the rest of us forget just how grim the old faggots were. But without access to a brainwashing machine to aid him on his quest, he's going to let his recipe do the talking so the next generation can make their own minds up. So Neil's recruited a band of intrepid adventurers. First Raglan Scouts troop to head into uncharted food territory. I just don't like faggots. The ingredient sounds a bit iffy, but I think I might like them. Oh, he might have some convincing to do. So Neil's going to show the kids how to make them. 
really is a meatball. So if you've tried faggots and never liked them before, get that out of your mind. If you're trying the Welsh faggot, which is like a, a meatball, but it is still a faggot. They don't look happy. Neil mixes together pork, lamb, seasoning, onions, breadcrumbs and liver. It's the spices and seasoning that's the key to his recipe. If you can get it out of him. Is that a secret family recipe? Yes, it is. Each seasoning in there, one seasoning in there helps the lamb. One bit of seasoning helps the pork. Another bit of seasoning helps the liver. And that's the flavour. It's all the little touches make it a bit special. Yeah, I thought he was going to let that secret slip. It's the best bit, it's the messy bit. Keep squashing around on it and it should all bind itself together. I'm not sure he's winning them round, you know. Well, they might be imagining brains. Well, it's nice making cakes. You can't uh, lick the bowl out after, can you? But there we are. And all you do then, put in the palm your hand and keep rolling it and pressing it. Time for the scouts to have a go and banish these fears of inferior faggots forever. Do you want to give it all a go then? Yeah! Right. Here we are. Yeah. So squeeze your hands, you've got to squeeze your fingers. Looks good fun, this. That's perfect, yep, that's right, yep, that's all squashed together, isn't it? That must be a good teacher, you listen to me. Good work, troop. Do you enjoy making faggots? Yeah. You did. Do you fancy eating them now? After a blast in the oven, they're finished off over the campfire and served up with the classic mushy peas, gravy and a big slab of bread. Right then guys, just get a queue round here please. They don't look half bad actually. Well, they're certainly tucking in. We'll soon know if Neil's earned his cooking badge. Is everyone enjoying their faggots? Yeah! You cannot say it better than that. I thought I wasn't going to like them, but I really do. They're better than very nice. They're really nice. I think it's something that we can cook around the campfire and the kids again can get involved with making it. And uh, yeah, it'll become a staple part of Raglan Scout's diet, I think, definitely. It may take a while to change the image of the Welsh faggot, but at least today, Neil has won some new recruits to the cause. And perhaps in the future, more people will come to the table to tuck into the tasty faggot.